In this report, I'm going to give you some updates about Tesla's 4680 battery production. A couple of days ago on uh, August 31st, I reported that Tesla was reportedly looking for partners in Southeast Asia, particularly in China, to build its 4680 batteries for those productions. In fact, one of those reported partners denies negotiations with Tesla. But what I want to say in this report mainly is that it looks like the battery business is is now shaped by partnerships and I think Tesla will go with partnerships to produce its 4680 batteries to harness the expertise that the battery production companies have but I'm not sure about Giga Berlin's battery factory well it's not built yet anywhere a anyway so welcome back dear friends this is Armin Haryan from torquenews.com if you are here first time please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla and electric vehicle news and ring the bell so you don't miss my next coverage and also give us thumbs up if you find this report informative please so we know that tesla is already working with a number of well-known battery manufacturers to produce the batteries that are used in electric vehicles for the new high performance 4680 battery the electric car pioneer tesla is said to be already in negotiations with some chinese companies now more powerful batteries are planned rumors of cooperation with china is there but you way lithium energy one of those uh, uh, reported partners denies negotiations reports financing.ch um, and says that the battery business is shaped by partnerships friends i will have the uh, report uh, the references of these reports in the description of this video but i would like to ask one thing and understand do you think tesla will go with partnerships to build its 4680 batteries and do you think tesla Tesla has a reason to make to build maybe German partners or even invite cattle to Giga Berlin and start producing batteries 4680 batteries at Giga Berlin's battery factory with cattle or Panasonic or another partner do you think Tesla has a need to do that in Austin and Giga Berlin or just to do it all alone and to do it with partners in Southeast Asia in China for Giga Shanghai so for the production of the high performance batteries that are in installed in the electric cars of the industry pioneer tesla the company headed by elon musk relies on several partnerships with suppliers include the, not only the japanese electronics giant battery giant panasonic also the largest chinese manufacturer of lithium ion batteries cattle and lg's business division lg energy solution these electric car manufacturers um Actually, uh, the electric car manufacturer Tesla also relies heavily on recycling in the production of its batteries. By its own account, the company's purpose is to help the world make the transition to sustainable energy. In addition to expanding the global charging network, Tesla is also relying on the future development of its own batteries to achieve this goal so that they can score points with greater range. The Tesla tesla needs to build that 4680 new battery with which is uh, more energy dense and it's going to allow more space because of its size and allow um, more range for its vehicles now uh, not tesla wants to have batteries in 4680 format produced for itself as soon as possible as a report by the chinese online portal 36 krypton shows which i reported several days ago on august 31st that's what i'm referring to this is a new technology that could go into mass production in 2023 by saying this i mean the 4680 battery format according to the electric car portal electric.net the name refers to the diameter of 46 millimeters and the height height of 80 millimeters that's the size of the battery but because of that size it's going to be more energy dense and give more range to tesla vehicles compared to the previously used 2170 battery the 4680 battery is larger which means that the energy density can be increased by five times and the output power by six times according to 36 six krypton six times or 16 percent uh, i don't know what they're reporting here the cost per kilowatt 
hours are to be reduced by 14%. Vehicles that have installed the 46 AD Tesla battery could benefit from a range that is up to 16% higher. They, yeah, that's what I was referring as to the, as the portal presents. The new batteries could then be installed in the semi truck and the Model Y, as well as in the Cybertruck. 36 Krypton factories uh, in Austin and Berlin um, says that they are named as the place of use, uh, then later should, according to current status, open in October, meaning Gigabyte. Berlin will open in October. Now, the production of these will apparently take place in China because Tesla is looking for production partners and manufacturers in China, which is why the company is looking for uh, cooperation partners uh, in, in, the chi in China. According to the portal, Yiwei Lithium Energy could be one of these partners that may produce 4680 batteries with Tesla. In addition to the 4680 batteries in question, the company is also working on batteries in the 4695 format. Ji uh, Yuaujian, director of the Research Bureau for Basic Materials and Technology, told 36 Krypton. Negotiations are also to be conducted with Ninja Times, LG, and Back Battery. According to a source on the online portal, LG has developed both 4680 and 4690 and other cylindrical batteries in order to secure its place in test supply chain and to be able to react to any product range changes. Now we know of Tesla's new batteries as 4680, but now this Chinese uh portal is mentioning also 4690 4695 so what's going on with all these sizes i was looking for it from a, 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 at my previous report and frank woodman jr has interesting comment on this subject he says my prediction is that batteries will be a mess of different types and sizes as the market seeks to find an answer to what new size and chemistry standards are going to win out obviously for vehicles larger sizes make sense but the exact size is yet to be decided this mess will just have to work itself out and of course much of the issue is each manufacturer wants to make its own batteries different so it's not easy to change to another size once you develop a battery pack it's not easy to change it's not easy to change battery cell sizes so just as manufacturers of computers and such love to have their own cable battery companies love to have their own battery sizes frank says i agree with friend but i wish i wish the industry could come to a standard and uh, provide the best batteries for that standard now the production of these batteries um, will apparently take place in china which is why the company is looking for cooperation partners in china friends uh, shortly after the rumors about the cooperation between tesla and battery manufacturers made the rounds the Yiwei Group denied the speculation about a possible cooperation with the electric car maker, as the company said, according to Asia Tech Press. The media reports have caused concern about investors in the battery manufacturer, which is why they felt compelled to make an official statement. The statement says, at the time of the publication of the announcement, the company had no cooperation negotiations with Tesla for 4680 large format cylindrical cells, and the content of the above report is unfounded, said the tech portal Yiwei. As Tesla Mag also reports, what is, uh, what is striking about the statement by the Chinese company is that it is very specific in denial. Friends, to be honest, I like this denial because uh, a company company could benefit potentially in uh, as on the rumor the stock would go up and but the company wants to be honest straightforward comes out with a statement and says we're denying there is no cooperation or negotiation with Tesla for 4680 large format cylindrical cells. Um, so I wish every other company would do that uh, when needed. So it remains to be seen whether there will actually be cooperation with the companies mentioned here. Maybe they are cooperating on something else. You know, when I uh, reported Tesla's battery news, um, about cooperation dean mcmanis who uh, provides el uh, electric vehicle content from time to time to torque news has an interesting comment saying 
I'm guessing that this is talking about just the 4680 cell format and not Tesla giving away their proprietary dry electrode battery technology. I had predicted earlier that Chinese battery manufacturers would potentially build LFP and other standard chemistry 4680 format batteries. Having only one cell size moving forward would simplify the battery pack design dramatically and for LFP and other batteries, they would have better cooling and prove, uh, power transfer if using just the 4680 cells format and maybe a tabless design. So this is what's happening in the battery news and we just learned that Brandenburg wanted to participate in Tesla battery uh, uh, construction funding at Giga Berlin with 120 million euros. This is Brandenburg's share. Germany and the European Union also will probably bring it, uh, bring their own share, making a total of about 1.1 billion euros well friends let me know your thoughts on all these battery sizes batteries being produced through partnerships the business moving toward partnerships in the meantime this is armin harian from torquenews.com have a great day friends uh, please subscribe to our channel for daily tesla news and ring the bell so you don't miss my coverage which i have several did today and also please give us thumbs up like this video if you found it helpful see you soon god bless you everyone have a great day let's be kind to one another and love our neighbor